more than 20 years, the North American touring productions of The Lion King have been seen by over 21 million theater goers. Experiencing the inspiring visuals, unforgettable music, and theatrical storytelling. And here to tell us more about this Broadway spectacular are actors Peter Hargrave and Gerald Ramsey. Peter, Gerald, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Yeah. Yes, I am so excited to talk about this show. And we, of course, we know that it's been around for a long time. Time, Disney's The Lion King. Why do you think that after all this time, it still resonates with people and we're packing the theaters for this show? Yeah, there's, it's a theatrical experience unlike any other. Um, and for us and so many of us, I saw the show for the first time when I was 11 years old. Wow. So 22 years later to now be a part of it, um, it's the same experience that our audience gets every night. I say the circle of life happens on stage every day, but it also happens out in the audience when you have parents that are that went to the show when they were a kid, now they're bringing their kids, and the show hits completely differently um, when you're seeing it as an adult versus the kids are gonna love it, but you're gonna love it too. Yeah, Gerald, what do you think? I think the, the animated film is such a huge part of many people's lives growing up and uh, that experience I think is something you want to share with your children and the same thing happens with the live show. I think although it's the same script basically it's the same story the way that the story is being told right is not animation it's live storytelling that I think is something prehistoric it's something innate something that's been a part of our human history for thousands of years and I think you feel that. When you come into the theater, you're not watching a screen, it's not Netflix, it's not Hulu, it's live people telling you a real life story that everyone can relate to. Yeah, yeah, I remember the movie when I was a kid just being so impactful and yeah. people just loved it and watched it and rewatched it. And so I think we're just getting some of that as you know, you can still put it on or go to the theater and mm -hmm. just enjoy it. Uh, and you're getting more, you know what I mean? I think there's so many cultures that have been incorporated into the live production of the show. Um, from throughout Africa and Asia, and then you have a cast that's from across the country, it's from around the world. So I think it's giving you even more um, than what the film could give you. Yeah, absolutely. And you guys play rivals on stage. <laughs> we have Scar and Mufasa. What is that like, um, you know, playing rivals in your characters? Uh, it's, it's fun, you know, uh, uh, Gerald is uh, one of my best friends uh, on stage, so being able to like uh, just bring our relationship and have fun off stage, but uh, you know, like he was saying, you know, the, so much of the work is done for you already, so we just go out there and they, we get to say the words and, um, you know, uh, just tell a nuanced, more nuanced version of the story that we already know uh, is a lot of fun. Do you feel like you're competing a little bit on stage? Like, do you find this competitive? competitiveness inside you? No, Gerald's way better than me at everything, you know, so like, <laughs> it's not that bad. I'm not better at murder. <laughs> no, I think it's, uh, I used to dance. I used to be um, a Polynesian dancer in Hawaii, and there is a fun competitiveness that comes with your coworkers. I don't know if it's competing so much as feeding off each other's energy, and that also happens with the audience. So when you have an engaging audience, especially in a family show like The Lion King, um, we just, the energy just builds on top of each other until it just explodes out of the building. Yeah, the circle of life is going through the audience and through yeah, the actors, yeah, yeah. I love that. We gotta talk about the costumes because this show um, just has some incredible, elaborate, beautiful costumes. Mm. And so, you know, tell me a little bit about yours and, and what you get to wear and present on stage. Yeah. So my costume is 32 pounds and it uh, features this mechanical mask that both of us have mechanical masks that uh, come out in front of our face and go, go back. Um, and it is truly, I, I mean, the best costume design in Broadway history. And it's not just one costume, it's the way that they're able to do Scar, the way they're able to do Mufasa, the way that we're able to bring an elephant into the theater every single night. Uh, that's the kind of puppet work that is truly amazing. And that's all operated by cast members, uh, like Gerald was saying, from all over the world that come and learn how to do these skills. It's, it's really, there's nothing like it. Gerald, how long does it take for everyone to get into costume and be show ready? It's different for everybody, I think. For Mufasa, it takes about 30 minutes, I think, between the makeup, getting into the costume. But it's the hours and, to be honest, the years of work of the creators, the original creators who created these designs. And it's hundreds, if not thousands, of years of cultures that are responsible for where these inspirations came from, from the makeup to the collar pieces to the corsets. It came from other places in the world, and they've all come together in this show. 
Yeah, yeah, I love it. I know that that is just a huge wow factor when you're sitting in the audience and just taking it all in. There's so much to take in, so you could probably, another reason you could watch it so many times. What do you want families and theater goers to take away from the show, especially if they're coming for a repeat, you know, they've seen it maybe one or two times. What do you want people to take away? I think there's so many things too, but it's, it's just a celebration of being together. And like Gerald was saying, it's a celebration of storytelling and really the way that The Lion King is constructed. It's such a, uh, there's storytelling through puppets, through dance, through different cultures and different languages. Um, and those things that uh, sort of center around this very nostalgic story that we're all maybe familiar with growing up. Um, but to be reminded that it's special to be together. Uh, one of my dreams is always like, you know, I saw The Lion King for the first time with my family and it is something that brings families together and it's a story that's centered around family um, so I think when we're able to provide those just moments where people that haven't seen each other in a while get together especially over this holiday season yeah. uh, that's something that is like an unforgettable memory and uh, if it brings you closer to your family that's that's all the better yeah Gerald what about for you when you're up on stage and you look out and see the crowd what do you hope that they're experiencing I think uh, from, where, from where I come from in the South Pacific, we believe in uh, our ancestry and in our genealogy and that we've inherited all of these gifts that we have in this life, right? And I think it's about bringing families together now in this plane, but also Mufasa says, remember who you are. The great kings and queens of the past are there. They're watching you and they're a part of you, whether that's physically, like you were connected to your mom's umbilical cord and she is physically a part of you and you're connected to your grandmother, whether they're here in the, in the physical realm or not you're still connected to them. And that's what I hope people are receiving is, remember who you are, who you're representing, whether they're here with us or not, they're still a part of you and you're, and you're still a part of them. Yeah, yeah, I just got chills as yeah. you were speaking. <laughs> like that, in that moment right there was so powerful. So, oh, I, you know, I have to come see the show, yes, of course, please. yes. Yeah. So how can people get tickets? How can they make sure that they don't miss out um, at the Orpheum Theater here? Yeah, we're here until December 30th. Uh, so you can either go to the box office at the Orpheum Theater or you can go to broadwaysf.com and get your tickets there. Well, thank you so much, uh, both of you, for joining me here. And I just wish you a ton of su success and just enjoy it. Have so much fun. Thank well. you. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Yes, happy holidays yeah. to you as well.